Hello. <clears throat> Good morning. Is this Layla Ali? It is. How are you doing? I'm fine. <laughs> this is the Valder BB Show. We're live from beautiful Dallas, Texas. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me on. Well, I want the audience to know that I have the opportunity today to speak to Layla Ali. She's the former boxing champion and the daughter of the legendary Muhammad Ali. And she's going to talk to us about claiming our age. What do you know about claiming our age? You're so young and beautiful. <laughs> well, I'm 35, yes, but I am getting older, just like everyone else who woke up this morning, right? So I have teamed <laughs> with Pfizer on their Get Old campaign, and it's all about encouraging Americans to look at how they want to get older today, start making healthy lifestyle changes today so that we can get old the way that we want to. Most of us want to be healthy, we want to be fit, we don't want to have chronic illnesses, we want to have our independence, and there are changes that we need to make now to ensure that that happens. These changes that we make now, Layla, you say you're 35, that's very young, and you know that, but I understand what you're saying. But you've been healthy, you've been active all of your life, so did you think about when I got older, I want to do this, or is it something that someone had to bring to your attention? This is something that I'm starting to think about now. Um, like I said, I, I'm a retired athlete, so obviously I've been fit for a long time now because I decided I want to be an athlete, so I understand what it takes. But now that I'm retired, I have two children. I have a two-year-old and a four-year-old. I'm starting to think differently. I'm starting to think, wow, I want to be here for my children. So. I'm going to continue, even though I haven't, you know, not all athletes, just because you're athletes, stay healthy. A lot of times you see athletes gain weight. And frankly, we're tired of working out. We've been running for miles and lifting weights or doing whatever it is we did in our sport, and you just don't want to do it anymore. But there are a lot of us that we love being fit. We love being healthy. We're going to stay that way. I'm one of those people. So what I'm trying to do is encourage other Americans, because we do have, you know, diabetes and heart disease and all these things that we hear about. So we know that we need to keep driving this message home that we need to take control of our health. We need to do that now because we are living longer. And if you want to live a healthy, good quality of life now, while you're 25, 35, 45, 55, whatever it is, you need to start making those changes now. What are some of the changes that you can recommend that people can actually implement? You know, because it sounds good when I talk to great people like you and people are all hyped up, but you check with them in 30 days, they're not doing anything. Exactly. So, you know, but there are a lot of people who actually are doing it as well, but most people probably are not. And, you know, we've heard it over and over again, like you said, what's it going to take to get it done? Maybe you need some other motivation, like thinking about later, your later years in life. And that's just being healthy, eating healthy, you know, foods that are from the earth, lean meats, whole grains, you know, vegetables and fruit, not something that's out of a can or out of a package all of the time that has no nutrients and your body can't digest. It's about getting exercise, even if it's out walking or swimming or bike riding or playing golf, whatever it is, you know, and a lot of times we also get so busy that we don't take care of ourselves, especially women, we're taking care of everybody else. If something's bothering you, you don't feel good, go get it checked out or do some research. Take care of yourself. Think about your health. Take control. That is great advice. It really is. Is there a place on the web that people can go so they can remind themselves? Yes, I'm glad you asked that. They can go to getold.com. There are stories of inspiration there. There's a lot of information, and um, you would definitely be inspired if you go there and watch some of the videos. I met a woman who's a 95-year-old yoga instructor the other day. And she, you, you would not know she was 95 because her spirit and her attitude is so great. And that's where it starts. It starts in the mind. It does. And spirit and attitude is a great component of them not aging, I can tell you that. Yes. Well, Layla Ali, we thank you for giving us this advice. What else do you have on the horizon? I know this is probably all-consuming with two children now, but what can we look for from you? Well, you know what? A passion of mine has always been cooking. I've been cooking since I was 10 years old, so I'm getting into the cooking space. I've been recently done some of the cooking competition shows. I've been on the Food Network, and hopefully you'll see me on a, a cooking and lifestyle show soon, but it's all about healthy cooking with flavor. And I also have a hair care line. I have styling tools that are in stores now, and you also available on Amazon.com and available through my website, LaylaAli.com. Well, we're so excited. We love it when our iconic heroes, such as your dad, Muhammad Ali, when his children become good people in the next generation, and you become one of those good people. So we appreciate that. Thank you so much. I had no choice, honey, and I, and I appreciate it as well. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Leila Ali. The best of luck.